absolutely. But you know, I, I think it's not about the wave clear. I think it's more about that the range, right? Because the Farsa, with the Farsa, technically what you can look for in the sieges is you're able to zone away these marksmen from hitting the minions, right? So it's not about the, just a the pure wave clear. Because honestly, if I'm looking at both of the compositions, their wave clear, they're both equally good. One has more damage with the abilities, the other one goes for the old fashioned way, like you mentioned, Leo. But it's all about that range. It's all about these dynamics from both of these matchups. The Farsa will definitely be a huge, huge disability for the Yi Sun Shin and the Natan. But then again, they also have this Yu Zong. This Yu Zong that is going to be just such a nuisance once again for the Farsa. It's, it's all going to come down yep. to how they execute these pushes, these sieges, these uh, everything, and these team fights as well. Yep, there's so much value eventually for this Farsa as the first big four side of Blacklist International. It it's a one-size-fits-all kind of hero. When it comes to the mid lane choices, Farsa has been one of the Five top priorities for teams because it is a hero that normally doesn't get banned out. And it's actually, you know, it fits almost all of the strategies because of that wave clear as well as the long-range vision that you get out and there's also a stun. It's just really so much value for Blacklist International. To top it all off, Onyx PH went for a double marksman setup, which, you know, Farsa loves to play in those kind of situations. She just melts some, she just puts yep. him down. But here we go. Wolf just explained exactly why Farsa is so important in the current metagame, as she was years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number two, Blacklist International versus Onyx PH. It is indeed going to be a mid lane Paquito, and I feel like it's going to play the same role as a mid lane Cho without the CC, but more of a re-engaged Cool. Let's see, again, Boloiski is going to be instantly in that top side towards Marky. I mean, this is technically Look what you that. need. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh. Marky's picking up that gold buff and ooh, happy feet. Yep. Yeah. You have to time it between uh, the Renner Blast from Oheb, who is very, yeah. very, very good at uh, doing that, stealing things from out of nowhere, from other people's noses. I'm wondering when Venus is going to do the same, when Venus is going to go help out. Oh, Actually, Haji. not just Haji here as well. It's a 3v1. Marky may have gone trapped, uses the flicker already, wow. and the stun, and speeding him up, and there's the kill. First blood, brought to you by Razor, goes on over to Oheb. Yep, very overzealous there, very overextended for Marky. He knew that Veloisky was no longer there. Technically, if Veloisky was still there, they could have gone for something. But again, yeah, Veloisky has other things on his plate. He needs to be able to secure these uh -huh. positions and open up the map. And there you go. Kyrie going into the enemy jungle. Yep. Oh. Well, that's what they, what Weiss also did. Here comes a swing back. Level 4, Kyrie jumping uh -huh. in. Oheb looking low. Flicker already used up. Hatred dashing in. Takes a few hits and they disengage. Yep. Might be pressuring the mid lane as well as look at this uh, Uranus just being a problem against this Yu Zhong. It's actually with, when it comes to the Yu Zhong versus the Uranus, what the Uranus can do is just to cut the waves and actually not engage against the Yuzong and might win that fight because of that. Oh, Black Dragon form used up by Dilarski already. Haji retreating. Oh. Turtle secured here by the SDB with the help of Kairi. And that's Beloisky. going to be one down wise. Traded out for Beloisky. Better airstrike by Haji. Dilarski taking a few hits and they go ahead and retreat. Huge trade though, huge swings on the map. Yeah, that's really good for the side of Blacklist International. Sure, on a PH, they were able to steal away the Turtle. That, actually, now I'm, I'm confused. Because it's good for both of them, right? Kyrie getting the assist, getting that turtle, and also just scaling really well right now over than, you know, better than Wise at this point. If you can take a look at the items, he's already building towards. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Venus. Taken down, you were saying War Axe. Yeah, nope. all right, so he's already building towards that War Axe. And again, for Yi Sun Shin, this is one of the crucial items that you need to get early on to secure that those stacks are going to matter a lot, that movement speed. In the team fights, in the push, everything you do it is going to rely on that right now. And on the Philippines, they need to just keep on scaling until those item power spikes hit. Yep, and which really makes me think that Onyx PH will try to uh, play this slowly. As long as they're keeping their turrets, they're fine. Make sure that the mid lane turret will not be touched by Blacklist International. However, Blacklist International, they're just going to be waiting for their timing as well. Again, if there are two items available for Ohev, I'm assuming this will be the Demon Hunter Sword after the Blade of Despair. Combo that up with Haji's damage out from the Clock of Destiny and the Truncheon. The siege potential from Blacklist International, especially with two frontliners, it's gonna be great. And Onyx PH, they don't have the wave clear to stop that from happening. And again, just in that moment earlier, this fight down here, it's a dance-off. It's, it's two very chunky heroes going, ha, 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 
<laughs> in mid, Haji alone, able to fight off three and clear the wave. That's yeah. how important the Farsa is in this game. And that's how great the wave clear is for Black Sun National at this current stage of the game. Four minutes in, Onyx Page want to set something up. They're blasting Haji from the bottom. Kairi, he still has his skateboard. His eponymous skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's waiting for his purple buff and then the turtle will appear in three seconds. Edward most likely will just proxy the wave, just cut it out. Or maybe even join the fight. He's actually oh. beating, coming forward and might be joining the Watch fight. out. Here. They start with a Feather Air Strike. Four men from Blacklist International set up for the second turtle. Mountain Shocker, they know exactly where everyone is. Delarski coming in with the Black Dragon form, catches the queen, circling Eagle oh. Aster and back. And they catch so many bullets from Oheb. That's going to be Whoa. one down. It's a trade, two for one. Wise, be wise, traded for Delarski. And they're not done. They're not Marky. done. Marky tries to blast down Edward and they Ooh. disengage. So far, on it. PH able to get away scot-free. Yeah, and not just that, they get the turtle and now they're pushing in. Again, remember Onyx PH, they have this composition which is actually kind of weaker here in the early stages. Managing to get the lead is going to be insane. Just going even alone or maybe even 1,000 gold behind, it's going to be fine for them. But guess what? They are in the lead right now, picking up the good fights and look at how they're playing these team fights. Perfection. The winning condition really shining through here for Onyx. And that's because of this Yu Zhang Amina from Delarski. He did die in the clash, but he would manage to find Weiss as well as Oh My Venus and then eventually uh, shut down Haji from uh, pip, um, popping off that feathered airstrike and oh. now they, they are baiting him indeed. They're finding him and it's a 2v1 in mid and in top. They've switched their lanes after the second turtle and Kyrie coming in, threatening a kill onto Edward. Same story, bottom lane and off camera kill. Down goes by Loiski, courtesy of Wise. Edward, he's okay, confident he's not gonna die. Take that. Tier 1 up top. Yeah, absolutely. And now with the Tier 1 up top, it is going to set up for the next turtle. But Blacklist, they are looking for the trade. Oh. Marky getting sniped. And this is where oh, he needs to here. recall. Nope, he cancels oh. it. Why is it beat us? He's Let's sandwiched. See. It's too much to survive. Why is gets that? And they will convert directly into this Tier 1. Oh. Oh, let's see what happens here, though. Oh, Detna's welcome. Get in my belly. Flicker already used up. Beloisi getting it spotted here. Why is still stomping away? What they retreat. A great pickoff coming up from Blacklist International. Because of the death of Baloyski in the mid lane, with no one to actually supply the vision for Onyx PH uh, to, to guard the side of uh, Marky, and Blacklist International took full advantage oh, of that. Hatred so close to biting it. The huge range on this Feather Airstrike up top. Delarski still trying to take down Edward. It's Baloyski and Delarski. The Ski Brothers. Here comes the rest of Black International. Circling Eagle. Black Ooh. Dragon form. They answer back. Oh, him with the passion. Blasting him with that. SMG, oh, and look at this Delarski, he's low, oh. he's right in the middle of all of them, taken down by the sniper, point blank, Beloisky blasting away, Kyrie secures a third turtle. turtle, was that worth it? A, a body for the turtle? At this point for Onyx PH, that's okay, as long as it's not, um, oh. it's not Marky, oh, Patriot. Swing back, they answer, Edward puts a few stacks of the Ionic Edge, Marky to the yeah. rescue, cutting this team fight short. Yeah, as I was saying, it's it's gonna be a good trade uh, because of the fact that it's not uh, Marky who's dying in these fights. As long as Marky as well as Kyrie are um, are okay, are d d getting all of these uh, farm, it's okay. But then again, you have to be careful if you're Delarski. Maybe that's their last death. Eventually, Onyx PH will rely on the tankiness of both Baloyski and Delarski. Both of them not having the best uh, kind of tank ability, but that is the best that Onyx PH can rely on in this game. Eventually, the lineup of Blacklist International can burst down these fighters. So you have to take note of not dying so that you get the farm for all those defensive items. Oh, wise already starting up with the Detna's welcome cancels it. In goes Marky. That's going to be a forward entropy and down. Down goes Wise, enough firepower to go for the counter engage as Haji puts up a defensive feathered airstrike. They're not done though. The Queen says we can take this. The Queen says we can try to take this. And they're gonna go ahead and defend bottom lane. Oh, Kyrie gonna get sandwiched. Oh. And he's gonna use the passive. Crits Ooh. onto the Filipino sniper. Two free kills plus a turret Little down bottom. On a PH back on the map. Like we said in the draft, it is this huge song that's just been crucial in these team fights. Look at the timing that Dolarski is able to use that Black Dragon form. He didn't do it initially. He waited up until Farsa was in position, then he pops it. That's where Haji, he just can't go for that feathered airstrike anymore. Now with the lightning truncheon built, he will do a significant um, more damage. But the thing is, 
When are you going to use that ultimate? You have to have that perfect timing and the perfect positioning. That's not going to happen, man. Delarski is just so on point with this Black Dragon form, and they're already using those pushes, those sieges, utilizing the Natan and that Eastern Shin. Watch out for the map. It's a little bit of a split push for Onyx PH as they want to use Hatred Ooh. on the mid lane roll to get to show the uh, middle ways up top. Oh, it's a full on engage as oh. Delarski has to use Delarsky? the Black okay, Dragon form okay. on a defensive way, okay. and he's taken out by Wise on the retreat. No punish at all on the side of Onyx PH as well as he gets stunned and Ooh. still survives. Uses that flicker at the nick of time. But Lord here taken down to almost half health. Here comes Hadrid. Walks oh, into a stunned. four man, a three man. He's dashing around Mountain Shocker. Kyrie trying to keep his mid laner alive. Feathered airstrike set in. Hey, and Hadrid oh. from the north takes him down. Traded for his own life. It's a messy team fight for Blacklist and Onyx. Neither want to give up this Lord. Well played oh. by Onyx Philippines. That should have been them losing every single time with Beloy with Dolarski dead. But look at the way they're able to just save time, get some time on the board for Dolarski to spawn back. Sure, that was hatred picked up, but it's a mid lane for the mid lane. Now with Dolarski here, it is going to be much much better for the side of Onyx BH. Oh man, this is crazy. As uh, Dolarski really just relies on this Yuzhong ultimate to really mess up with against uh, Blacklist International, and then of course hatred sniping Haji. Was it worth it? Because they still lost one hero for that. So one for one trade-off. I guess the answer is yes, because they, at least they stopped the Lord take from Blacklist International. But you have to be very careful about Onyx PH. Blacklist International is a team that really punishes those trades. When you, the trades look favorable for Onyx PH, it seems like Blacklist International just finding ways to even up the trade or even just one up Onyx PH because of their uh, small movements in the, in the game. For example, really just poking this Dilarski uh, Yuzong to the point where he's forced to use the ultimate. Now let's take a look at the items here with Kyrie building up already the, the BOD, all right? This is where he is going to be so powerful. Maybe next item is going to be the Melfic Roar or the DHS Consider. DHS, yeah. yeah, it's going to be either one, all right? It's preference for the side of Onyx PH. Oh, but starting it up with the Feathered Airstrike. Not good. Not good. I mean, it was used for vision. They do have that. They need that to be able to open up the map. And yeah, oh, Haji Marquee. spotted by Marquis. That's a lot of damage, but Beloisky oh. will not fully commit. Maybe. Once been, twice shy, Boloisky. Yeah. There was a time where Marky is called the bad boy by Mr. Manjin himself, and oh. that is the reason why. Here we go. Circling Eagle plus the Black Dragon form Lord at about a fifth of its health. Why is Denton as well? Oh my. Back. Oh. Kyrie gets blasted with the Feathered Airstrike. That's the Lord secured by the Queen. Wow. There's a knockup. Three down for the side of Audit PH. Blacklist International punishes the micro mistakes as Boloisky bites it. Edward takes his head. It's only one left. It's just hatred. A huge mistake for Onyx PH, not just the timing of that fight, but look at the members. Hatred was nowhere near that Lord, and they still forced it out. That was them getting overzealous, greedy, and Blacklist will completely just punish them. Oh my god, it's not an enhanced Lord, but there's no wave clear. Again, the problem with Onyx PH, they, can end. they don't have the wave clear. They have market this time. Oh, Hatred catches way too much via the Feather Airstrike and the Nibiru's Passion, Mountain Shocker, to help clear the waves and push back Blacklist. It's not gonna end, not Ooh. here. That is gonna be so, so bad for Onyx PH, man. They've lost that inhibitor turret in the mid lane. Remember, the side lanes are bad, but that mid lane is gonna be bad, even worse here, as they're just, wait, they might just go in for the push. They're not letting go. Look at where Edward is. He's putting so oh. many stats on the people. Feathered airstrike one more time. Belowski caught out of home. There's a Totus welcome. Get in my belly and down Red under the ground. Wise takes him, lane. as well as the inhibitor Red turret destroyed. down bottom. Destroyed. Top lane gonna be next up on the docket for Blacklist International. They are calculating. They are taking down these turrets surgically precise. There's another better airstrike. Does this thing not have a cooldown? Black Dragon Form Force out of Delarski. They're bursting him oh. down. He's gonna survive. There's a Mount Shocker landing on all five members of Blast International, but they're not done. Hatred weaving in and out, stinging like a bee. There's a knockup. Down goes Edward. Huge punish from oh. Onyx, but the Filipino sniper takes one from the back. Ow! Kyrie goes down, Delarski as well. Three defenders left, but it's not done. Not quite yet. As Hatred gets taken down again. Oheb, dual wielding, taking him down with Nibiru. Circling Eagle by Beloisky. He's caught out. Second time in the past two minutes. He's still alive. Oh they were trying to distract him, but oh. it's not gonna happen. Marky gets taken down by Haji. Max range. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wipeout. Game number two going over to Blacklist International. The Filipino sniper. What was that? Look at
at him! He's hyped! Don't give this man a hero with guns! Ban out the Clint, ban out the Beatrix! At this point, ban out the Layla from this man! And 